going on? Today we're installing the ProClip center mount on the C8 Corvette with the Mighty Mount wireless charger. Let's get right into it. So up until this point, I pretty much have only been putting my phone in the passenger bag that I purchased. There's a little side pocket here that I slide my phone into. I almost never use the wireless charger because it is so inconvenient to have to twist around. I literally forget my phone in here all the time because it's not in front of me. It's like, you know, you I, I don't have a visual sight of it when I'm getting out of the car. I never keep it in my pocket. I just don't really like to have things in my pocket. Usually it just falls out. If you have your phone in the cup holder here, it's just gonna, you know, go flying all over the place. That's why the Pro Clip comes in such good use, but you pretty much just need to wedge it behind the uh, infotainment display here uh, on this back side. You pretty much just wedge it in and you bend it around the display side here. It is very difficult to see what I'm doing from this angle. So I'm gonna swap seats really quick and then uh, we'll get this installed. So pretty much what you're trying to do is wedge this small corner section into the back of the I guess the dash uh, leather that kind of comes down and around here. So you want to wedge that part into the little bottom corner of it. And with that still in there, you want to almost bend this part out and around the edge of the display here. And of course, I'm being extra careful because I don't want to hurt my uh, C8 here. So pull that up and around. can definitely tell once it's on there it's not moving at all now all we have to do is install the base which this pretty much will depend on what mount you got you don't have to get like a wireless charger or anything really you can just get the the standard one that's what i had in the zl1 that's the other great thing about the pro clip you know if you want to just get the standard phone cradle or holder you can start with that or if you ever upgrade a phone you don't have to get this whole base plate again you can just get the actual phone mount that fits your phone and swap it out all right, so here's the actual charger itself. Um, this thing uses kind of like a ball head mounting system. So once you screw this plate onto the base, you will attach the charger there. And that way you can, you know, reposition it however you need to. Uh, but first you need to get the four screws so you can install this onto the base. All right, so now that we have the ball head plate mounted to the base, we're just gonna take the uh, screw off of the back of this charger. It's a little circular uh, cap looking screw. You're gonna put that first on there and then the charger is gonna snap onto the ball and then you just tighten that cap to the charger and that's essentially how you can tighten or loosen wherever you want it. So it's loose right now and then you tighten it all the way and you can make it as tight as you want. So. Um, the last thing that we need to do is connect the cable here. You could, of course, route the cable into the center console here where you have, well, you have a USB-A and a USB-C. However, there's actually a cigarette lighter uh, underneath the glove box here on the passenger side, and that's the one that I'm going to use uh, to plug into. So we're going to plug the usb type A into that. This is gonna go underneath there. And the USB-C is just gonna plug in underneath and behind the mount like that. So I'll have to see the best way to route it. It might actually be better if you kind of route it towards the back here and then come up and over the center where that divide is and then down into the passenger footwell where the cigarette lighter is going to plug into. So we'll turn the car on, should light up, there it is. And I guess we, uh, there's like a grip release right here. So you kind of just hold that button and it automatically opens. Go ahead and put the phone on there and it grips it. Now in terms of visibility, it does look like the phone actually comes up a little bit above the front right fender. Naturally, the C8 has, you know, tall fenders and you do see them in your point of view, but it is not much. 
I could still see plenty over it. It's just, I don't know, maybe about an inch of visibility is being cut off by the top of the phone. That's probably just because the uh, iPhone 12 Pro Max is a massive phone. Um, but anyway, this is totally secure. I mean, this isn't going anywhere. Once you're done driving, go ahead and press the button on the bottom right. It opens up. If you wanna put it back in there right now, you just kind of hold your phone up to it. It opens up for you, you put it in, and then it grips it closed. So very convenient, awesome accessory for the C8. And let's go ahead and wrap this up. All right, so that's gonna be it for this one. I highly recommend getting the Pro Clip mount if you have a C8 Corvette. I have nothing but good things to say about it. I actually used one in my ZL1 before, and it was absolutely perfect. There's nowhere to put a phone in the ZL1. Again, unless you wanna stick it in the cup holder, like you probably already do here. And it's kind of inconvenient, even though the stock wireless charger in the C8 Corvette is nice. It's kind of annoying to have to turn around, twist around, put it in there and then taking it out. If you have a thicker case on it, it's very difficult to take out. I even leave it in there all the time by accident because it's not in front of me, I don't see it. But anyway, that's gonna be it for this one. So until next time, peace.